which security plugin is the most bang for your buck? How many of their features perform as promised? Watch this video till the end to find out. We spent over a hundred hours testing the most popular security plugins. By the end of this video, you will clearly understand the actual effectiveness of each plugin. In our experience, malware scanning, malware cleaning, and a firewall are the most important features when it comes to WordPress security. That is why we will score them out of five. Pricing will be scored out of three, with three being the most bang for your buck, and zero being a bad deal from hell that you should stay away from. The other parameters will be scored either a zero or a one iTheme scores low because it is missing a scanner, cleaner and a firewall. Also, it doesn't have a functional brute force protection and activity log and detected a vulnerability just on occasion. WordFence has its downsides, but at least it protects the website to some degree. The scanner is above average, and definitely a cut above the other security plugins available apart from Malcare. The cleaner is effective but extremely costly at $490 a pop. WordFence also misses out on bot protection and an activity log. Apart from these things, it's an exceptional security plugin. We have to admit though that it was a close call between WordFence and Sukuri because Sukuri too has its points. Sukuri's cleaner is quite effective and so is its firewall. However, the scanner is quite unreliable, the brute force login protection does not work and overall, Sukuri takes up too much of server resources. There is also no bot protection and you would need a separate plugin for two-factor authentication. If you notice, WordFence's flaws are Sukuri's strengths and vice versa. So depending on an individual's personal experience, they will advocate online for the plugin that solved their particular problem. But because of this, there is often no objective answer about which one is holistically better for WordPress sites on online forums. And the answer to that is neither. You should not have to compromise on one aspect of security or another. Instead, you should have it all by getting Malcare, which is our winner for this head-to-head -head comparison. Malcare easily won this race on all accounts. It detected all the malware on a test sites within minutes, it was the only free security plugin that managed to scan our sites thoroughly. The one-click cleanup experience was flawless as well. Not only that, the automatic firewall proactively blocks bad traffic from reaching the website. The brute force protection makes sure that your login page is safe from malicious attacks and the bot protection goes even further to make sure that only bad bots are kept away from your website. All of this is done without hindering your website's performance as Sukuri and WordFence often do because Malcare conducts all operations remotely on its own servers, hence never affecting the site's performance or speed. The customer support team is available 24-7 to help with any issues. Malcare is also quite easy to install and configure as most things are automated. In terms of price, Malcare Malcare's $99 plan is vastly better than Sukuri's $199 basic platform plan. Malcare is also better than WordFence's $99 plan because Malcare includes unlimited malware removal and WordFence does not. WordFence charges $490 per cleaner. The only two cons for some people might be that firstly, the free version has a scanner and a firewall but you have to upgrade to unlock the unlimited one-click cleanups. Secondly, the free scanner does not show the location of the malware. However, this is easily solved by the fact that when you upgrade to cleanup, there is a standing money back guarantee in case Malcare is not able to clean your site 100%. I hope this video has been helpful. Comment below if you're stuck anywhere and I'll try my best to help you out. Do hit that like button if you found this video helpful. It really motivates us to make more such videos. That's all for today. This is Julian, your friendly neighborhood geek, and I will see you again next week.